go through this exam question. The growing numbers of visitors to glaciated upland areas in the UK can only bring advantages. Do you agree? Use an example to explain your answer. So before you start answering this question, as part of your revision, you can just break down the, the question and look at some advantages and disadvantages of the activities that are available to people in glaciated upland areas in the UK. Remember that this is focusing on the UK, so you can't talk about any other place uh, around the world. And uh, you can you can agree with the statement or you can disagree with the statement. You don't. You can be on either side uh, of uh, of this statement. Let's have a look at some sample answers. I do not agree that it can only bring advantages. One advantage it does bring is more money, which helps support the economy. For example, in the Lake District, lots of people visit, which brings in lots of money, but it also disturbs the natural peace of the area and ruins the scenery. So here, the candidate started off by stating they don't agree with um, it only bringing advantages. It's probably not ideal to start with that statement. Probably better to end with that after you have given some evidence for your point of view. So one advantage is that it brings more money, which helps support the economy. Okay, so it's talking about economic benefits. But then it doesn't talk about how or where that economic benefit is coming from. So it's talking about the Lake District, which is an appropriate example to use, and then stating that lots of people are, bring, are coming, which then helps to bring lots of money. But in the answer, it needs to refer to some specific examples of what activities that they're doing that is helping to bring in uh, those uh, those customers, those people who are going to be spending their money in the area. So this would be a low level answer, probably one or two out of six in total, because the candidate has not referred to specific things that uh, will bring uh, economic benefit to the Lake District. The Lake District receives 14.8 million visitors annually. For the economy of the area, this is fantastic, with thousands of jobs being created and 1 billion is spent there every year. This huge sum of money shows how advantageous increased amounts of visitors can be. However, for the Lake District, residents more visitors means more problems, with 89% of tourists travelling by car. Visitors to the Lake District can cause huge traffic jams, disrupting locals' everyday lives. Furthermore, due to the copious amounts of tourists, footpaths have been severely eroded, showing that tourism is also taking its toll on the environment. Overall, I believe that the growing number of visitors to the Lake District bring more advantages brings more disadvantages than advantages. In this answer, the candidate has referred to specific detail, specific uh, facts and figures throughout their answer, a completely relevant uh, example, and has talked about specific advantages economically, as well as disadvantages environmentally, and perhaps socially too. It's also talked about at the end um, the environment being severely damaged and then comes to a judgment about where they think they stand with regards to the statement of the question. This would be a really good answer. It would probably be top band five or six or six out of six in total. The Lake District attracts 19.7 million visitors each year. It's a good statement to start with, evidence, key facts, then it talk, talks about 18,000 new jobs being created in 2014 and £1.5 billion being put into the area. So validating with employment as well as the amount of money that is being brought into the economy. 
Second paragraph, however, jobs created are seasonal and low paid. A really good disadvantage because people probably are being employed in the summer rather than throughout the course of the year. And it tends to be low level work. In addition, the many visitors can damage the environment through littering and by transport as 83% of the parents go of the tourists go there by car eroding the landscape. So again, evidence given through the environment and through the tour, uh, transport um, and how much damage has been caused by that. Finally, the Canada ends by talking about some footpaths uh, are one of the attractions and have been significantly eroded and therefore comes to a judgment at the end saying that overall they disagree with the statement. Again, this would be a top level answer uh, if you wrote this in the exam. In regards to advantages in 2014, 14.5 million tourists visited Lake District spend around 1 billion. As a result, thousands of, 40, of the 40,000 locals are provided with employment and income in shops, hotels and cafes. This also has a multiplier effect with locals and businesses being taxed and this money can be reinvested in infrastructure such as transport hubs like Ambleside, which relieve tourist pressures. A very good paragraph to start with. The candidate has identified key facts and figures and talked about the number of people that could possibly be employed in the area. He's using key geographical terms like multiplier effect, as well as taxation, as well as infrastructure, and has a relevant case study example. Second paragraph, the candidate carries on writing about some of the challenges uh, of uh, high levels of vis visitors coming to the area and uses a key term again, honeypot, and the causes of uh, the damage to footpath erosion as well as overcrowding. And then the candidate finishes off by giving some statistics of some environmental issues. And although the candidate is not finished off by saying that they uh, agree or disagree, this probably would be uh, most, it, sh it should be a top band answer, probably five out of six or six out of six in the exam. So overall, uh, remember that you need to keep, you need to remember key facts and figures when you're writing your answers for these sorts of questions. And if they're asking you whether you agree or not with the statement, then make sure that at the end of your answer that you write how uh, you stand. And you can do that by just saying, overall, I think that uh, there are more or less advantages or there are more disadvantages overall uh, because of X or Y reason. Keep doing the exam questions, make sure you go away and make some notes on this and then write your answer. It should take you about 10 to 15 minutes, but it will prove to be much more beneficial to you than simply reading from your textbook or reading your notes. More exam questions that you do, the better you'll get overall. And with the exams only a few weeks away, this will be the best form of revision that you can do.